Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Abby J's Fun World. And today, we're gonna do another app development tutorial. Okay, so today we're going to learn something fun. So first, let me start off with an opening question to you, okay? Have you ever used an app? That's definitely an yes. You've all used apps. Right now, you're probably using an app on your iPhone or iPad watching me do this video, YouTube. So you're probably all using apps. But you know there's lots of screens when you're playing games. You click a button, it takes you to another screen. Click this button, it takes you back home. Home screen, help screen, all those screens, right? Well, today in app development on Thunkable, I'm going to show you how to make those screens and how to navigate to them. Just like the professional apps, okay? Also, just want to make sure, please get your account set up or else this video will not work. You have to get your account set up, then you can um, do the, um, then you can create apps which will allow you to do what we're, the, the thing we're showing today. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay guys, let's log into our Thunkable account. Okay. Move that right here, I'm going to log in. Okay guys, I'm logged into my Thunkable account. Let's create a new project. So we have to click this button and what this button does, this plus button, well it will create a new project. So let's go ahead and click this plus button and it's going to ask for some information. First we have to name our project. Let's name it Navigation. It's really important to name meaningful names. So let me name it Navigation okay and here you can choose a category it's optional that's for when you create big apps you're planning on publishing it to the app store but we're not doing that today so we're going to click create and we come into our project this is the home page of your project over here is the name of your project where you can change the settings of your project and all that and here you have the screens, which is what we're going to do. We're going to navigate between screens. A screen is like the outline of where you put all your components in. See, screen one, we have a default screen. When you create a project, you probably noticed it comes with the default screen. See, screen one, the default screen, okay? And another thing you could do is the name is right here, but if you want to change it, you can name it. Should we name it? Um, I'm going to name it Home. Always remember to give it meaningful names. Let me start by putting a few components on the screen. So I'm going to put a label here. Why I'm putting the label is, wait for it to load. And my computer's really slow today. Up oh, there it is. So while I'm putting a label today, so when people enter my app, they can see this is the home screen, okay? And the button I'm going to get, I'm going to get a button, put it here, wait for it to load. Up oh, there it is. It's going to be a button and we're going to name it, or put the text there, is it? Um, go to screen two and we're going to put a screen to in a minute. But first, let me explain why we need the button. The button is when you click the button, it's going to navigate you to screen two. When you click on this button, it's going to navigate to another screen. Now the important part, how to add a new screen. Okay, just so you guys, it's a kind of a small button. I'm going to annotate to show you. Okay, right here, this is the button you're going to have to click on, okay? Like it? There we go. Okay, here, we have a screen. Okay, so we're going to rename this, say help screen, okay? Okay, okay. Now, this is the magic. When we click this button, it's going to navigate to the screen. Let me change this button to go to help, since we renamed it to go to, to the screen to help. So go to a help screen. 
so now we have to do the code it's not going to work so we have to if we click on this button it's not going to work since we haven't added the code and guys let me tell you it's super simple to add the code okay guys so what how do we um do the logic to when we click this it will go to this help screen well i think we all know the answer code do you guys remember how to go to the code section in this place yep i think you do the blocks button right here so let's click the blocks button and here we have all the blocks categories and the components categories so these are like the variables functions lists, objects you do not have to worry about these right now you might think they're complicated they're not we'll explain these in future videos but what we're going to be focusing on right now is the button one okay these components you see here are the ones we added on the screen okay remember we added button one label one on home screen and we have the any component which is any component in the program so here we have button one so what was the logic remember so when we click on the button we need to go to help screen so we need to check the button one station okay so we're going to grab the first block when button one click it's the first block in this list then we're going to go to control and grab navigate to home screen in the drop down you can see the list of all the screens available see there are two screens we have help screen and home screen so we're going to right now drive from home screen go to help screen so we're going to put help screen okay and that's it if you're wondering where to get this block it's the first block on control okay guys do you want to try it out in the design okay guys what there's two ways to test your project more there's more ways but these are the most common ways so you can click this live test button so let's click it and you can test it right here or you can click this preview button and test it right here let me do the live test i like the live test okay so when you click this it went to the screen the reason why it's white is because we don't have anything on that screen but it went to that screen let me add a label to show you that it's the help screen okay go to my help screen let's add a label let's add a label and then it's going to say help screen okay and we'll also add the button to go back to the um home screen come on load ah there it is let's do this and type in go back to home Okay, then we'll have to do the same code again. Go to the block section here. Then go to the buttons. When button two click, oops, when button two click. And control, navigate to home screen. And it should work again. Let's start from the home screen. And let's preview it. Okay, now let's click go to help screen. And we're in the help screen, let's click go back to home. Yay! Congratulations, you just got your screens moving. It looks really cool if you're doing really fast. I know. Yeah, see, you can navigate to um, screens, you can navigate to home screen. See, you can navigate to screens based on conditions. All cool things with code. And guys, remember you're all coders. Remember you always have to have fun. Remember, fun matters more. Fun, fun, fun. See you later, guys. Fun is the motto of our channel. Bye.